Hello, this is Angie, Weasel539. Um, I went to a local craft show yesterday at the NEC, which is um, near where I live. Um, and I just wanted to share with you everything I got. Absolutely loads of stuff, so I'll try and be quick. Um, I tried to separate it into piles, so it helps with it. I wanted some flowers and I wanted a scoreboard. Uh, some paper I was interested in I didn't know whether they'd have it or not it's actually a Christmas show um, it's on every year and actually it was probably um, the least Christmassy of all the shows I've ever been to there although there was lots of Christmas stuff so anyway let me show you what I've got I've got these white um, flowers paper flowers And these red ones, these aren't actually um, paper. They're kind of like a like a mesh, but they're really nice and a really nice ribbon. Then two of these. I've actually got three. They were three for a pound. I actually found some really nice things, um, and I think I had some bargains. Um, have to see what the rest of you think. <laughs> I found these, just a little bag of different flowers, and these ones here are all glittered. Um, they were in the pound bin. Then I came across a company called Craft Fairy Flowers, uh, very similar to a wild orchid type place, um, and their flowers were gorgeous, and they were quite reasonably priced. They were £2.50, and they're in um, peaches and cream. Probably can't pick up the colour very well on here. And then these bigger ones were £3 and they're like a burgundy and a cream and sort of deep lilac. Um, and then the last one I bought in flowers was I did splash out on some Prima flowers. They were reduced from £5.30 to £4.77. Still really expensive, but I just fell in love with those. I thought those colours were absolutely gorgeous. Um, just see if they have a name. Rosarian Collection Pearls. If that means anything to anybody. I'm not really familiar with the ranges of Prima. Um, and I also found these, again by Prima, reduced to £2. They're not a flower, they... Um, it's on the back it just says lovely fabric um, and they're like individual fabric it's almost like a rosette trim but trimmed into a leaf shape and there is the most beautiful blackish teal colour black and like a slate grey they'll be used on very special projects um, I'll just try and work my way through the rest um, we have a range here that's just come out called Vintage. Um, I don't actually know who makes it. Um, it all says bringing crafts to you. www.crafts-2too.com And these are, they're, they're, they're chipboard um, frames. Uh, very kind of Tim Holtzy, quite thick. They look metal. Um, it's, it's a very, very similar range to Tim Holtz, much, much cheaper. Um, these by um, Maya Road, um, I think they're an English company, I think. And again, they do a lot of vintage things, very, very similar to Tim Holtz. Um, I've got these for £2.50. Tim Holtz do exactly the same pack, uh, maybe slightly more numbers. Um, for about six pounds and they're they're thick see how thick they are um round wooden like bingo chips and the the numbers are like indented on them and they're numbers one to thirty one um I've got three packs of tags um two that shape and one that shape. They're just mini tags, three three packs of those for a pound. Um, in that same vintage range, um, they do um, 
oh, tape. Um, it's called masking tape, but and this one has vintage clocks, gramophones, typewriters, fob watch, sand timer, penny farthing, hot air balloon, and camera. You probably can't see; it's probably glaring too much. Um, and there's five meters on there, and that was one pound eighty-five. And the same with this one, and it's um, musical notes. And I bought some pearly bling. They're great. They they sell them for um, a pound a pack, or I think it's five for six pounds. I just bought the sort of metal coloured ones and a pack of the larger pearls because I've got quite a lot of those because I stocked up last year. But I do use a lot. I wasn't going to buy any, but I do like these. <laughs> and I've got. Um, pack of card candy this is made by Craftwork cards um, I don't know if the people in America and Australia may not be familiar with this it's like a brad but without the legs and it's made of paper and they're printed with different words or um, patterns and they're so easy to use you just put a little foam pad in the middle and they do just look like brads and these ones have got a pearlescent finish and they've got they're like vintagey coloured newspaper print almost on them it's oh it's actually called antique newsprint <laughs> they i do have a black and white um newsprint pack and the reason why it's called minis is normally the packs are a lot bigger but i found that they actually did a few mini packs and i've never seen this one before so i treated myself to that one that was 99 pence There was a lot of beads there this year. More than I don't know whether there's more than normal or just because I've now I'm now interested in beads, but I don't remember seeing as many beads there before. Got a pack of Tibetan snowflake beads, um, a pack of silver plated split rings. Putting my charms on, they're in silver, and another one in black. These were all a pound a pack some key charms and these are so light they look like metal and heavy but they're not pound there there's keys locks and i've got two packs of those a few to share and then this one is a fill your own pot they give you a little pot you see the size of it here and you pay i think it's one pound 20 and there's all sorts of different embellishments and you you just fill your pot um I got some last year, but they, they had some snowflakes that were different, so I wanted a few of those. There's those like acrylic snowflakes there, and let's see if I can tip them. Yeah, they have a different, oh, actually they have them everywhere now. Those sort of snowflakes as well. Um, and they also had some of these rose bees, which I have got a load from eBay, um, but I just picked out a few black more black um, and then the rest of my pot really was just pearls they do really good size pearls in all your basic kind of colors um, I think I've just put a few silver bells in there and also some some of those I haven't got any of those right, excuse me a minute while I just put these back in the pot they're great. They, I mean, they have all sorts of them, but as I say, I had some of the others from last year. But I just had some of the others that I hadn't got. Oh. Um, in the pound, there's a, there's a stall that sells everything for a pound. I got chipboard hearts, and you can dangle those, you know, in a line going downwards. And they do the chipboard tag books again for a pound. I bought two of those. And then for 50 pence on a different stall, I found these little tag books. And these, again, are Maya Road. They're like ticket tags, three different types of tickets. So they were 50 pence, and I've got two of those, one to share. And I found this. 
by somebody called Melissa Francis. I've never heard of her, but I just thought it was really pretty. It's dangly, it's two pegs, so you could dangle it from something, clip the peg at the top and the peg at the bottom, and you've got the flower in the middle. That was only £1.59. I thought that was really quite reasonable for something quite nice. There. Um, a few little bags to alter. Nothing very special, but they're the, the flat visited ones. Just a few little mini ones. They were pounds. Um, and then I got, I actually got this on holiday. I didn't get this at the show, but I haven't got around to showing it you. Vintage birdcage die, and these are I've not heard I'd not heard of these until I saw them on holiday, and there was quite a lot of them at the show. Poppy stamps ink, craft dies, vintage birdcage, and they they come in a little sealed. It's an envelope. I don't know if any of you have seen that one before. This is made in the USA, so. I'm thinking that some of you might be able to tell me what they're like. I haven't tried it yet. Oh, it's falling over. Then I bought a Kittlebog um, journaling card embossing folder for a bargain of a pound. Um, I probably wouldn't have done had I have seen it just like this because it doesn't look very exciting. But they'd actually embossed one on a piece of card and it looked really nice as like a tag type thing um, and you could actually use it to make tags with so I was quite impressed with that then I bought a border mask um, these are very popular in the UK I don't know about any other countries really but they're made of like um, I suppose an acrylic um, you can use them as a mask a stencil but you can also run them through um like your big shot um and it, it it embosses them as well so um i haven't got a film strip so i bought that one and that was about two pound fifty i think i can't quite remember the price of that one um i got a lot lots of little bits in the, like the sale bin um I bought some of these. They're called Tim Holtz Distre Distressables and Doodads, and they're just they're a bit. A couple of them are a bit bent, but that's like vintage photos on a strip. Alphabets that matches my paper pack actually. Letter squares, toy blocks. That's the one that's bent, but I can still use it. And there's some words in different um, colours. And print blocks and these were all they were only 10p they were in a saying like a sale box um in another sale box three meters of that lace i know i bought all that lace on holiday but that was like a bit different and i couldn't resist it only 50p so it's kind of like the same price as what i paid on holiday um Then there was a guy who had the most amazing um, like kits, card kits to make. Um, you've got like a card and the papers and all the decorations that you need. This one was originally three ninety nine, then it was two ninety nine, and then I got it for nine uh, for a pound. And it's a trick or treat card and. I can't get any Halloween crafts over here. I'm watching all your videos. It's really made me want some. So I, I did find a couple of bits. So I found that. Halloween. And again, I found that one. Again, that was £3.49 to start with. Haunted House card. It has all the bits, all the die cuts. And that was reduced to a pound. And on another stand, I found a spiderweb stamp. 50p and the same guy with the cards and the die cuts that was reduced to 199 but again it was in the pound bin I just kind of like that happy birthday matey thought that would be a nice um, mail kind of card quick one to do um, right and I bought quite a lot of stamps now I'd like somebody to tell me actually um, 
if these are a good deal because I think they are but I don't know Prima stamps small ones this one actually I don't think they have names this one is like lots of Victorian well sort of Victorian type ladies in the bonnets and hats um, really doesn't say a name just says an item number they do a whole range of them but I've, I think I've seen somebody using that one that was one ninety nine. so um, I think that was a good price Ooh. sorry just knocked something off my desk and then that one which is it's like a it's like random words but like they're all missing so you've just got bits of the words here and there so it'd be a nice little background stamp that would be nice i think stamped on homemade flowers so you just get a bit of like text every now and again now and again then these were all kaiser craft so if anybody in australia could tell what the prices of these are normally i'd be very obliged the prices that are on them aren't the prices i paid this one and these are all very much like tim holtz type stamps love it's called vintage love and it's got love it's got a ruler it's got a day return ticket an outward ticket um like bingo card numbers and a big penny farthing and like clock hands was four pounds and i got that for two two pounds i thought that was very good and the same price was four pounds i got it for two believe there's a clock there's a bird cage there's love there's script like an old mirror um clock clock hands a bingo card so much on one stamp two pounds and that one's called vintage believe then i've got a whole bunch of these um they're priced up at 2.99 kaiser craft again um but i got them all for two pounds that one's called graffiti i uh, think it goes that way up <laughs> um, it's like blocks of numbers again it's like a scripty type background with bits missing just the kind of thing I like um, yeah it's just called graffiti that one decorative lamp um, it's just like a, a vintagey scripty leafy background with a very de very very decorative lamp all script in the background that's really nice say so all these were two pounds uh, even 2.99 to be fair i don't think is a bad price this one's called TikTok, and it's um old fob watches that one's called script and that's just a, like a basic script background very nice That one was marked up at two eighty five, and I got it for two thirty five, and that's the um, vintage keys. Again, um, it's just called keys. These are all Kaiser Craft. That one again, I got it for two pounds, and it's a, like a grid background. Little bits of it missing in places. Again, nice background stamp. And then finally, I've seen somebody on YouTube using this one. It's called Parade, I think, and that's probably one of my favourites, all the, the ladies. Again, got that for £2. Um, I can't remember whether I showed you this one. That was a bid I won off eBay, and that is a Tim Holtz um, Live the Life You've Imagined stamp with the classic man with his umbrella tickets and the birds and the clocks um, I can't remember if I shared that with you already also at the show I found that one Kanban Crafts which is a British company I've never seen this one before and it's it's a single stamp of like wintry bare trees which is mainly why I bought it so I think that stamp's lovely and then you've got two separate deer so you could stand them in the background, you know, so it looks like they're they're in the distance in the trees. Um, I mean, I love them, but it's mainly the trees that I bought for. 
and Kanban the seaside. Um, the last, this one and the the last stamp they were off. That was off eBay as well. I just can't remember whether I showed you these or not. And my last stamp that I got was from Indigo Blue, which is an English company. There, it's pre-mounted. You've just got to cut them out. And it's an Alice in Wonderland. Um, I bought an Alice in Wonderland book recently of papers, and I just thought they were really nice. Um, that was a bit of a treat. Fourteen ninety nine. There was a second one, but I couldn't afford them both. But I thought that was quite nice. One of the um, sayings I'm presuming from the Alice books is, why is a raven like a writing desk? And that's going to be a really random thing to stamp on something, but I think you could get away with it on a vintage card. <laughs> and I didn't find much paper, but um, I love Paris. I haven't got much Eiffel Tower paper. I found this one by Wild Rose Studios, um, I think a British company, I think, I've always presumed they were, and it's called Letters from Paris, um, and it's very kind of scripty and French, and there's lots of roses and love type things, um, and then there's Eiffel Tower papers, and they'll go with my Eiffel Tower ribbons, and postmark, just lots of yummy things like that. Then there's these. Now I've never seen these before. They were on a stand called Creator, um, which is she's a girl who's in England, but she travels around to different countries to find different things. I've never seen them here before, and it doesn't really have like a company name on. But they had loads of different designs, probably about 10, 12 designs. All lovely, but um, there was only one I really, really wanted. So I was I was being very good at that point because I'd only just arrived. <laughs> um, they were £3 a pad, or you could have had um, three for £10. No, that's not right, is it? Hmm. Three, must have been three for eight. <laughs> I know you saved a pound, I think it was, if you bought um, the... The, maybe it was four for ten I can't I can't remember now but I only really wanted the one um, and they're glittered and foiled and glossy so you kind of get each picture one glossy one foiled one kind of plain some of the designs I'm I, I, they're not my favorite but some like the owls I and the birds I absolutely love that's beautiful and that's probably one of my favourites. Uh, that's the same one. Foiled. And glittered. <laughs> and that, the teapots are great. And they're nice. More birds there. So some of the, the hearts I'm not so keen on. The cakes, but I know that I can use them for other people on cards. So that's okay. And I found the um, Prima Almanac, which is the paper that I'd seen on eBay that I fancied buying. And it's just, for somebody who likes vintage, it's absolutely gorgeous. There's lots of like whole pages and then there's pages with things that you can cut up into squares if you wanted to. If you wanted just, or if you're making tags and or inches and you want just small things really nice I'm sure most people know what these are <laughs> if you're not in England lots of little tags really nice again they're like bottle labels and they actually feel quite Frenchy as well um, now I actually met a friend of mine um, at the show for the first time and we bought a couple of things between us and split them um, Craftwork Cards um, who I got the Braddy things from we're doing these wreath kits and they were seven ninety nine. and if you bought two you got one free well we both, there was they had them in different colours and you get everything in it to make the, the wreaths um, the, the flowers are flat and you just roll them they're pre-cut, you just pop them out and roll them or do whatever you need to do to them obviously you, there's no glitter or anything you provide your own glitter all the ribbons and pearls and everything are all included 
So we both like the black one. So we have two black ones and another one, which is like a pinky green colour. Um, what we didn't realise until we bought them, each kit actually makes three wreaths. So that's actually quite cool. Um, you can see the size of the cardboard there. And obviously it'll be a little bit bigger, a tiny bit bigger once you put your flowers on and it overlaps the edges. So actually they would make really nice Christmas cards for like family or like a wreath instead of a card. I know my, my mum would love that. So what we did was we both had the black one. I had one of these and my friend had two of these because we bought another kit between, well we bought two other kits between us because it was cheaper. One kit divided perfectly equally between two because there was two of everything. The other one didn't. So there was a few designs in there that I wasn't so keen on. So my friend had those and she said, just keep it, just have the whole kit. So she paid for half of this kit and then just told me to keep it. So that's why I let her have um the other wreath and i'd also bought her like a, a magazine kit as well so it was kind of equal in the end <laughs> and these were just I, I can't really show you every page but they're absolutely gorgeous the most loveliest card that it's printed on um and that comes with an inspirational design sheet as well shows you the kinds of things you can make just gives you a few ideas to get you started and that's by my craft studio an english company and finally oh no not quite finally i bought 10 sheets of recycled parcel paper because i like stamping on it right the only other thing really i didn't have a shopping list to search but the only thing i would did want was i wanted a scoreboard after seeing a lot of you in america using them i've been looking at them and we do one called a hoogie board stupid name it was named after the woman who invented its dog or cat um i don't like her board it's bright green and you can't really see the measurements at the top they're just sort of molded into the plastic rather than printed on um really don't like it i'd looked at the score pal and i really liked that um i thought i thought actually that was the one i was going to get but when i went to the show i actually managed to get the martha stewart board so i was really really pleased with that because comparing it to the score pal actually the measurements um looked kind of clearer because it has the center line marked on it and it just looked quite nice so i'm really pleased with that and it comes with this thing i haven't got a clue how to use it <laughs> it's called an em what does it call it um includes envelope guide on the bone folder there um i don't quite know what i do i'm presuming i put this into that corner um i'll have to figure that out i might be asking for help <laughs> um and i wanted it in inches because after watching a lot of the videos on YouTube, everything's in inches and it's quite, I'm making it, finding it easier in inches. The only thing I don't think this has with it, and I, I don't know if anybody can help me, but um, I'd love a guise of knowing, um, like for the ones, the boards that you get in this country, they come in like a little booklet telling you where to score for making different sorts of cards. Is there anything online that can tell me, you know, if I want to make this card, score at this, this and this? Do, do you know what I mean? Like, um, instructions. But, um, I guess I can Google it and have a look. Um, so anyway, I'm really pleased with that. So that was everything I got yesterday. Um, sorry it's been a bit of a long video. Thanks for watching and take care. Bye bye now.